198. 199. 200. 200. Wow, that's amazing. I love to exercise. Do you? Not everybody does. I get that. But the point of this video is all about exercise in speaking. What do I mean? I was recently talking with a client, Drew, and he told me, Michael, I was trying to work this piece of information into my program, and I realized I, it just didn't fit, so I put in an exercise. And instantly, I thought, that's brilliant. In fact, we came up with a new phrase together, the new mantra, exercise over information. The audiences today, they need some information from us, but not a lot. What they want is our perspective. If they need a lot of information, they can go to Google right now and get more than you'll ever give them. Some of it will actually be true. What we need to do is give people our wisdom, our insights, and perspective from our experience. That's what they want to know. We give them hope by showing them they can overcome their challenges. And how can they experience that? Well, they can go through the journey that we went through, our story, and then give them exercises so they can experience it themselves. As a quick example, when I do storytelling workshops now, I ask people at the beginning to pair up and share a two to three minute story of their life, something that shaped their beliefs or values. Then what I do is I bring the group back together and I ask them a question. Raise your hand if you just heard a really cool story, something meaningful, memorable with a great message. And there are always hands that go up. Now, what's the purpose of this? It's to show the person that shared the story that it has value more than they realize. I could stand in front of the room and tell them, well, you have a story that's valuable. And they'll say, yeah, 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 yeah I hear you. I hear that all the time. But when they experience the impact that their story had on someone else, who they just met many times, and it's only a two to three minute story, they begin to feel and experience the power of storytelling and what it can be. So my challenge to you is to not include more information in your next presentation. Ask yourself, what kind of exercise can I include? Something that will help them feel the impact of what we're doing.